Good day everyone. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic. Stay tuned. So by this time, we are going to tackle all about a very important topic as what I told you. We are going to discuss a topic that will give us awareness regarding the function or purpose of the parts of our body. And hence, that is what we call it as reproductive system. What is reproductive system? Reproductive system is an organ system. When you were still in grade 4, you have known that there are units of life. They are cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and body. Wherein you were able to know that organ system is a group of organs. Hence, one of the organ systems in our body is reproductive system. Now, what is the role of reproductive system? It is an organ system responsible for reproduction. Now, sir, what do you mean by reproduction? Reproduction. When I say reproduction, it is a biological process. A biological means life. So, it is a process in life by which new individual organisms or offspring are being produced from their parents. In short, reproduction is the process of creating new individual organisms by parents. New individual organisms are also called as offspring. Again, New individual organisms, such as baby or infant, they're called as offspring. Now, there are actually two types of reproductive system, depending on the gender of a particular person. We have male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. But by this time, we are going to focus first with the male reproductive system. I mean male reproductive system. There are many terms that we should be acquainted or be oriented for us to understand further the male reproductive system. So please give you full attention so that you'll be able to get these terms. First one you have testosterone. What is testosterone? Testosterone is the male sex hormone produced by gonads. Remember, testosterone is the male sex hormone, the sex hormone of males, and it is being produced by gonad. Later, you will know what gonad is. And aside from that, the role of testosterone is for the reproduction of sex cells, and it also helps um, develop secondary sex traits during puberty so there are two roles of hormones sex hormones such as testosterone it helps develop the secondary sex traits and also it um, regulates the reproduction of sex cells speaking of secondary sex traits these are the secondary sex traits that can be observed in males during puberty or adolescent stage these are the changes that can be observed in that stage first one we have the facial and body hair aside from that the changes in body shape wide shoulders and narrow hips and the appearance of adam adam's apple right here and the deepening of voice so those are the male secondary sex traits that can be observed during the adolescent stage adolescent stage of males we have here also sperm cell sperm cell is what we call the, the male gamete or male sex cell so male gamete or male sex cell is sperm cell gamete is the other term for 
sex cell. So they're just the same. So we're done already with testosterone and sperm cell. Be guided, testosterone is the male sex hormone and sperm cell is the male sex cell. Let us go further with the organs of male reproductive system. It, organs of the male reproductive system are actually considered as the primary sex traits. Why? Because they are the first things that we will observe so that we can determine the gender of a specific person. If these organs that will be discussed later on can be observed on a specific person, it means that person is male. So what are the organs that we should know in order for us to determine that a specific person is male? First one, we have testes. Testes is plural form. What is the singular form for testes? Singular form for testes is testes. That is the singular form. And testes refers to two or more. Testes can be called also as testicles or testicles or testica in singular. So how are we going to recognize testes as an organ? It is two, it is, they are actually two oval shaped organs that produce sperm cells. They also produce sex hormones such as testosterone. Testis is the gonad of males. Remember that one half? When we say gonad of male, it refers to testis or testes. So this is the oval shaped organ or the testicle. Scrotum. What is scrotum? Scrotum is the protective sac that protects the testes. This one, this external organ that um, that has sac-like structure is what we call scrotum. In the scrotum, we can find the testicle or the testes. Seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules are tiny crawled tubules inside the testes. This is the testes. Inside the testes, we can find the seminiferous tubules. They are the ones producing sperm cells. And seminiferous tubules are parts of testes. Epididymis. Epididymis is a part or organ where mature sperm cells from seminiferous tubules are stored. So for example, the seminiferous tubules inside the testes were able to produce mature sperm cells. These mature sperm cells will be stored in epididymis. This is epididymis on top of testes or being attached on testes. Next one, we have the sperm ducts or vas deferens. It is a large tube where mature sperm cells pass through towards the urethra. So we have here from testes stored in epididymis. Once it will be released out from the male reproductive system, the sperm cell will pass through this tube called as vas deferens or sperm ducts. After passing, uh, after passing through, rather, after passing through the vas deferens, it will pass by these two organs, the seminal vesica and the prostate gland. So the sperm cell will pass by these organs. And during the time that it was able to, or during the time that the sperm cells pass by these organs, they will be mixed with fluid produced by prostate and seminal vesicle. That combination of fluid and sperm cell is what we call semen. So after passing by, after the sperm cell passing by seminal vesicle and prostate lead, it will become semen. Semen is the combination of fluid and sperm cells. Urethra. What is urethra? Urethra is the tube where the sperm cells mixed with fluids or semen pass through. So from testes, epididymis, vas deferens, pass by seminal vesicle, 
dan prostate gland then it will pass to this tube called as urethra in this case it is already semen penis penis is the external reproductive organ that releases sperm cells there are only two external reproductive organ of males we have first the scrotum right the sac like organ then the second one is the penis penis is the one that releases sperm cells or semen let's recap so this is testis epididymis vas deferens seminal vesica prostate gland urethra then penis and scrotum let us go further or recap the passageway or pathway of sperm cells from its creation towards um, its um, release so first testis epididymis pass through vas deferens pass by seminal vesicle prostate gland urethra and released out from the penis so that is the pathway of sperm cell in chronological order from the very beginning now if you have any question regarding the male reproductive system feel free to send message to sir basti so that everything will be clarified thank you for listening and god bless